Hi guys, this is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. We are 14 days and 54 minutes, 7 seconds away from history in Canada. And there's a company that I've been looking at that is demanding my attention. Because of copyright laws, I don't want to be showing other people's videos. But this is Azal Hazan, president of Canada Royalty. You should put Canada Royalty on your watch list. CRZ in Canada. CNNRF in America. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education, entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. But Canada Royalty, 88% buy on bar chart. It has been going up steadily, as you can see here. It was at $3 on August 16th, and it is just climbing steadily. And you can see it is up 195% in the last year, 69% in the last three months, and 26% in the last month alone. Let's look at some more news. So as Ontario's proposed cannabis retail plans may irk producers that are capped to just one storefront, Ottawa-based Canna Royalty Corp is aiming to make itself a leader in the province with its move to buy a vape shop chain canna royalty is purchasing look at this 180 smoke for 25 million with an additional 15 million to be awarded upon completion of certain targets by the end of 2020 the company said in a statement released late thursday in an interview on bnn bloomberg as afzal hazan president and general counsel of Canna Royalty said the purchase will help it draw customers as 180 Smoke's established base of users are already aware of smoking products through vaping. When we took a look at the customer streams that were coming through the door in various businesses, 180 Smoke was appealing because they surveyed their customers and 80% plus were cannabis users too, Hassan said. It's a very interesting captive market. 180 Smoke and its subsidiaries, including 420 Wellness, currently have 26 locations in Canada. That's right, 26 locations, 15 of which are in prime locations throughout Ontario that sell vaping, nicotine-related products and parts. Marijuana for vaping, along with other pop products like edibles and beverages, will remain banned until October 2019 when Canada legalizes the drug next month. 180 Smoke has already targeted prime locations where they see large amounts of foot traffic and pedestrians' attraction into these stores, Hassan said. Canna Royalty said it expects the vast majority of 180 Smoke retail portfolio to be eligible for retail cannabis sales after marijuana becomes legal on October 17th. The vape chain's revenue grew more than 50% in eight months to August from a year ago to 6.78 million can of royalty said. This is just the start, people. When we took a look at this market and also started to see extremely onerous restrictions on advertising and marketing taking place, we realized that retail is where you're going to win customers, consumers in Canada for cannabis products, Hassan said. If you are not going to be doing things through the government, you are going to have problems. This is what he's trying to say. This is what I've been saying since day one. Canna Royalty's acquisition comes after Ontario introduced legislation Thursday governing the licensing and regulation of the province's private cannabis retail model, which is scheduled to be in place by next April. While Ontario's new regulations will limit cannabis product producers to just one retail storefront at their production locations, effectively putting the brakes on their provincial retail plans, some industry observers suggest they could use a franchise model to circumvent Queen, Queen's Park's legislation. Even so, Hassan poured cold water on the viability of a cannabis franchise model succeeding in Ontario over the short term. The benefit of franchise typically tends to be buying a brand that recognized 
and pulling customers in the door, Hassan said. In the cannabis industry right now, it's very hard to see a franchise that could see that customer pull power just yet. Maybe in a year or two or three, that could be the case. This is a very interesting company. I think it's, you know, got a lot of potential and it's one that you need to put on your watch list, put it on your radar. I'm on their website right now. It's cannaroyalty.com. I'm doing my due diligence. I'm doing my research. Please, if you like this video, smash the like button. I would love to know what you think about Canna Royalty. Do you own this company? Do you want to own this company? Is it a company that you're interested in? They look huge to me. I think they have so much potential. This is a massive acquisition, a $40 million acquisition. What do you think? Remember, I'm not a licensed advisor. This is strictly an idea. I'm not telling you to buy this stock. I am strictly looking at the company, and I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this is a winner? Please let me know. Comment on the video. Share the video everywhere. Remember, if I win and you win, we all win. I don't own this stock right now. I found it last year when it was way, way cheaper. It has done very, very well. It is definitely on my watch list. It's definitely on my radar. What do you think? We are 14 days, 47 minutes, and 55 seconds away from history. It's true. Can a Royalty Corp, a new pick for you to look at from your boy Rich. Can a Royalty Corp, C-N-N-R-F, C-R-Z in Canada. If you're not winning, you're not watching. I'm out. Peace. Can a Royalty. They look like they are blowing up California, Toronto, Vancouver. Wow. I like it.